Alright, we are back with some more Omega Ruby. We're going to uh, continue going on this route. I'm going to see what's all the way to the right over this way. Nobody knows what's over here. Actually, honestly, I don't even really remember, but... This lady, Last Janice, has herself one Pokemon, and it's a Meryl. I actually went back to the Pokemon Center and healed up my guys. And I also, I also switched Little Root into the front slot, just because I kind of felt like it. And this actually works out perfectly. Because this Meryl is not going to have too good of a time with his Mega Drain. Sorry about that, Meryl. That damage. Check that shit out. Oh no, Bubble. That'll, that'll totally hurt me. Did one HP damage. Nice. Nice one. This Meryl's got some sweet skills. Alright, Mega Drain's going to kill it with a critical hit. Oh yeah, totally useful critical hits. That's what I'm talking about. So Meryl was defeated. Little Root got a shit ton of experience. And last Janice was defeated. You're a notch above me. You're damn right I am. More than a notch. Alright. So let's see here. We're going to be cruising this way. There is there is more grass than I remember there being in the old days over this way. What the hell? Alright, found a Zigzagoon. That's cool. I also have been messing around with a little like Pokedex app thingy at the bottom screen. And when you find the Pokemon with the tails, you can actually mess around with the bottom screen thingy. And it actually shows you... Okay, so right here, check this out. I heard a Pokemon, so if you hit this little thing here... Seems to be a Pokemon somewhere, so if we... If we figure out where the hell... Where the hell's the Pokemon at? There it is, alright. So if we try moving more slowly, we're gonna be able to tell actually what Pokemon it is. So if you see at the bottom there, it's showing that it's a level 8 Skitty. So that's actually rather interesting. I'm gonna sneak up on this little bastard. Oh, f fuck you, wild Pokemon. Come on. Zigzagoon getting in the way of the damn Skitty. Not that I really wanted a Skitty, but I just kinda wanted to, I don't know, check that out. But, anyway. We now know that that's available on the bottom screen, so that's actually quite helpful. Oh my god, there's so many damn Pokemon. I should've used that fucking Repel that I got. Couple episodes back, that would have been that would have been useful, but I guess we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, running from freaking zigzagoons. All right, let's make some freaking progress here. Oh my god, I hate wild Pokemon with a passion, unless they're shiny. Wishmer, what's going on, Wishmer? That's actually the first Wishmer I've seen so far. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I could battle it, get some experience, grow to level 15, but hey, ain't nobody got time for that. Go over this way. This dude's a little hiker dude. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Hey, that's the mentality, hiker guy. Should all take lessons from this hiker Clark. He's got himself a Geodude that's actually perfect because Trico is going to be able to destroy this thing with a little Mega Drain. Give you a little Mega Drain to the face. Sorry about that, Geodude. Actually, the first Geodude we've seen, too. That's pretty interesting. All right. Killed it in one hit. I think that's like the first one hit KO we've gotten so far. Pinhead grew to level 12. Fuck yeah, bro. Next is another Geodude. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this thing a Mega Drain as well. And that was probably the easiest trainer battle in the history of trainer battle. Oh my god, it didn't kill it in one hit. Oh, it's because it got sturdy. Okay. And the ability thing actually comes out with some, some pretty cool little... It's a, it's a little different. Got some blocky type of thingies. But... Pretty much the same. Alright, we give that thing a pound, it's going to die. Screw your sturdy Geodude. As Little Root grew to level 15. Oh shit, we're gonna have a Grovile pretty soon here. Oh shit. Gasp, gasp. Yeah, that's right, Tubby. Make you lose your breath. <laughs> Alright, so, what the hell what is over here? Grr! I want to dig that tunnel. Oh, okay, don't have, to, don't have to growl at me, guy. Shit, what did I do to you? Over here we have a little hole for a secret base. We'll probably get into that a little bit later. There's a Pokeball, which is an X special attack, something I will never use, so... Hey, thanks for that. Random X special attack. Over this way we have the Rust Turf Tunnel, linking Rust Burrow to Vernon Turf. That's cool. If I remember correctly, we gotta, like, smash some rocks over here. Once we get Rock Smash or something. Something along the lines of that. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, here is the rocks that we're going to be smashing later. So that's fun. We'll see what's going on. What's going on with the wild Pokemon up in this area. And would you look at that? They're just Wishmers. So that's cool. You know what? I'm going to kill this thing. 
I would really enjoy getting some experience. And oh my god, almost killed that shit in one hit. That's what I'm fucking talking about, Trico. Fucking making yourself useful. Gonna go for the pound and the wishmer is dead. Alright. 54 experience probably was not worth it, honestly. <laughs> we go up over this way. Okay, I haven't found a wild Pokemon in a damn minute here. Found a Pokeball. I have way too many Pokeballs, and I'm getting to the point where Pokeballs are not going to be too useful. Great Ball game is going to need to come pretty soon here. Alright, we're back to Route 116. And we can go over this way, except uh, we can't pass because of the prickly thorns. Oh, God. Well, you know, see, there's nothing over here. That's that's a real that's a real bummer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a repel, just because I do not want to be bothered with these wild Pokemon. And we're gonna go back on this way. Oh, we fought, oh I heard a wild Pokemon thingy. So I'm gonna use my little bottom screen deal. Seems to be a Pokemon somewhere. Where oh where is this Pokemon? You know what? Fuck it. I don't even want to bother with this thing, <laughs> just because it's not worth it. Probably won't be anything cool. So. Alright, let's go up over... We can go to the north side over this way, which is the way I probably should have gone first. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay, Repel War off. Thank you for serving me, Repel. Oh, shit, just jumped over that on accident. What's going on? Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. Suspense. Oh, really? I spy a Pokeball over this way. We're gonna go ahead and scoop that. Getting random Pokeballs. And it's a Zinc. Okay, that's actually that's actually hella useful. I'm gonna save those for when uh, my Pokemon need some drugs later. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stockpile that. So this is just an empty ass beach right here. There, there is there is absolutely nothing on this side. Now, what the hell is this? Okay, just Route 115, Rustboro's down this way. So I'm thinking that it's probably about that time to battle Roxanne. I probably could have done that earlier, but you know what? Let's go see what's going on in this gym. Why don't we? Oh shit, this is crazy. This looks nuts. Hello, you must be a new challenger. I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply and battle all that I've learned in the, at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. And now she's going to walk back to her spot. Cool. So let's go ahead and just start battling these little grunt dudes. There's always these assholes in front of the gym leader that think they're hot shit, but they're really garbage. So there's a Geodude. This actually is going to be extremely easy, considering I have Mega Drain. <laughs> so we're a little bit on the overpowered side. And holy shit, level 7? Yeah, I should. I did not realize that I should have battled this a lot earlier, except this thing's got sturdy. That's annoying. So many sturdy Geodudes. Jesus. You can tackle me, huh? See, it would be nice if my Surs get new bubble. I believe those things are supposed to get bubble at some point. Why the hell? Why doesn't mine have bubble? Maybe rather than bubble, I got Felstinger. So that's kind of a bummer for this gym, at least. But at least I'm gonna be getting that experience from the EXP share. So it's all good. Let me go ahead and Mega Drain. The oh, oh, oh! Accidentally hit Pound. That's a bummer. But <laughs> at least if this thing has Sturdy, it's gonna, you know, not really come into play here. So. Give this thing a Mega Drain. And that is a dead rock with arms right there. See you later, Geo Dude. Mega Drain is so awesome, I just get all my health back. I fucking love that move. Bam. I'm all about the moves that that steal life, you know what I mean? That's where it's at. So we shall continue this way, and I'm gonna go ahead and dodge that youngster just because I can. And you know what? Might as well dodge this yeah, this bitch too, because I'm honestly just so overpowered. Let's 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 battle Roxanne. Fuck it, let's just hop right into it. We got some fossils going on right there. What the hell is that? Nice little slow fade into the into the sea. Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Why, of course, Roxanne. I will kindly demonstrate how I Giga Drain all up on dead ass. <laughs> So Roxanne has a pretty interesting little intro scene there. You got Geodude. Wow, never seen one of these before. <laughs> so you got two Pokemon. One's a Geodude, okay. Alright, alright Geodude. Level 12. Level 12, not too bad, not too bad. And of course you have Sturdy. <laughs> Damn it. 
So I'm guessing in um, Alpha Sapphire, holy shit, that Rock Tomb did a lot with a critical hit, and it lowered my speed. Holy fuck. I'm guessing in Alpha Sapphire, the uh, the little um, ability animation that comes out is going to be like blue or something. That's pretty cool. So that Giga Drain is going to actually kill that thing, and luckily she used a potion, because now I get a lot more health back, so that's actually perfect. So thank you for that, Geodude. Little root to level 16. That is what I'm talking about. We are finally there. Oh yeah, next is a nose pass. The infamous nose pass. I remember seeing this thing for the first time in Ruby, and I was like, what in the fuck is this thing? Most random ugly Pokemon, like what? I don't get it, but Mega Drain's gonna do a nice little super effective damage to where it's gonna be a two hit KO. Perfect, as this Rock Tomb is gonna do a decent amount of damage, but and, and you're gonna get the stupid speed fall, so. Probably gonna be faster. No, oh, or not. My, 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 my fucking Trico is just way too fast for your ass. And that nose pass is dead. And that was probably the easiest gym battle in the history of gym battles. All you gotta do is have a Trico, man. And Roxanne was defeated, so I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Why, yes, you do. And I got a shit ton of money right there. That's what I'm talking about. And oh, oh look at this. Little Root is evolving. Finally get to see, get to see the evolution animation. Does it still look like Digimon? Okay, we're kind of looking pretty weird over here. Oh shit, oh shit, and would you look at that, we got ourselves a Grove Isle. Just like that, Trico evolves, and now our little baby's not so young anymore. I'm kind of sad, trying to learn Fury Cutter. Fuck to the yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Leer. Ain't nobody need Leer on a Grove Isle, let's be real here. We got how to use Leer, and we learned Fury Cutter. So that's actually perfect. Our Pokemon evolved in the gym battle. That seems like something that would happen in like the anime. It's awesome. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that the trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a Stone Badge, guys. Finally, we no longer look like a noob trainer. We got ourselves at least one badge. All Pokemon up to level 20. Okay, cool. Can obey us. That's awesome. And we got TM39 for Rock Tomb. We are getting all sorts of shit. If you use this TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. You can use a TM as many times as you want. Alright. Well, that was pretty cool. Let me go ahead and hop down this shit. I'm liking the new renovation to the gym. It's pretty cool. There's like fossil stuff over here. I like it. I like it. A lot of fossils. A lot of fossils. So, let's go ahead and get out of there. And oh, it's happening. I was wondering when this was going to happen. So the Magma Grunt guy is going to come running from the Devon Corporation place. And the scientist dude's like, Hey, get back here with those parts, you, you hoodlum. Oh, God. <laughs> so he's going to go, he's going to stop right up over there. And I believe we're going to talk to him and he's going to be like, Yo, you're the same dude from the forest. What's going on, buddy? Oh, you there. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalbury Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get the Devon parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Well, you have asked the right, g the freaking right guy, because I'm gonna go get your shit back from this magma dude. So we were already all the way over on this side. Now we're gonna run all the way over here again, and I, that was that was groundbreaking. I didn't hit a wild Pokemon. Did you guys, did you guys see that? Holy shit! Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on a walk, Pico and I, when we started, when we were attacked by an odd thug, and then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Oh shit! This this guy is just, this is absurd. He's taking. Shit from the Devon people, he's taking this guy's Pico. You, you gotta be shitting me. Is he gonna be is he over this way? Oh there he is. What's up, asshole? What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Yeah, I am coming to get some, bro. What the hell is that? The hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And you think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you. Now you're here to battle me, really? Yes I am. I'm about to beat that magma ass. Alright, so Magma Grunt has a Poochiana. I am actually aware of the fact that this thing is Dark Type this time. I am I am just absolutely stupid for not for, I used Quick Attack like four times on a Poochiana when I had Fell Stinger like right there. I, I'm ridiculous. I don't know why I thought I thought that this thing was normal type. I honestly I, I'm I i do not know, I'm stupid. I know Mighty Anna's Dark Type, but I don't know. And holy fuck that bite did a lot. Wow. Okay. Looks like Pinhead is not gonna be able to do what I expected this thing to do. Hellstinger does a decent amount of damage with a critical hit though, and the bite is probably gonna kill me. And yeah, Pinhead 
just got fucking just absolutely destroyed by those jaws in holy hell. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but at least Little Root can come in. Save the day with a nice little Mega Drain. And I totally should have went to the Pokemon Center after I beat the gym, but honestly, I guess it didn't really matter. I'm kind of running out of Mega Drains. But whatever, we'll do it We'll do it sooner or later. Pugiana faints, and we have gained hella experience. Pinhead would have enjoyed that experience, damn it. Is this the end of my evil deeds? Probably. So, this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. You want him back that badly, then take him. And we obtained the Devin parts. Now we're going to look like a real swell guy when we go return those. And we'll also be able to give this guy's Pico back. That's cool. Oh, the, here the old dude comes running in. Pico, I'm glad to see you're safe. Mr. Pico owes her life and her freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so it's Hayden. Is it now? And I sincerely thank you, Hayden. If there's everything I can do to help you in turn, don't hesitate to tell me. If I'm to be found, we'll always be back in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. So this dude's the guy that's going to be able to help us out with the boat shit. So we can go to other places, so that's pretty interesting. So we still can't get over there because we have... We need to get Rock Smash. And that actually reminds me, we did get the HM for Cut. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to use that pretty soon here. But who the hell should I teach Cut? That is the problem. That is the predicament there, my lads. And I might just teach it to Grovile just because it honestly doesn't really matter. You don't really need four slots in game early. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Wishmer, get the hell out of my way. I'm just trying to get out of your cave. I'm not, I, I mean, I mean no harm. Fucking Wishmer, get out of here. Alright, so we're out. Now the problem is that we gotta, oh, actually we can go into this place now. Tunneler's Rest House, huh? Let's see what's going on up in here. Can we rest here? Can I rest here? The rest of tunnel there. At first, we had a huge crew working on, bore, on boring through the rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. Turns out, we would have had a negative effect on the wild Pokemon in the area. To get to Vernon Turf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the Sea of Duford, sail on the, to Slateport, and then travel through Mawile. Ma er, Mawile. Mawile. The fight. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop down, hopefully. Oh shit, that thing, <laughs> that thing popped up and I almost just ran into it on accident. That's funny. Oh, I almost made it through without running into a wild Pokemon. But of course, Zigzagoon's got to get right in the way. Acting like a real asshole, Zigzagoon. Just gonna go ahead and run from that thing. I gotta go to the Pokemon Center. My Surf gets dead as fuck. At least we did a good deed for this Devon guy. Wait, where the hell is that Devon dude? We gotta go. We gotta go all the way to the Devon Corporation. He couldn't just been waiting there for us, could he? First, I'm gonna visit the Pokemon Center. Just because I want my darling Surskid to be healthy. Good morning. Is it morning, Nurse Joy? That's cool. It's actually like midnight right now as I'm recording this, so I guess it kind of kind of is morning, technically. So, okay. Alright. Let's go ahead, let's switch Surskit into the front slot. I'm not gonna really need him there for now, but might as well stick him. Might as well stick him there. Alright. So let's go up here. Oh no, here's this dude. What's going on, man? Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you a great ball. One great ball? Re really? Okay, that's that's mildly helpful, but not really. I can I, I can maybe catch something with that. So he's gonna take us into the Devon place. Pretty rad looking place. Don't mind me. I'm also actually sipping on coffee as I'm recording this. So, but yeah. We're inside the Devon Corporation. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you wait here for just a moment? Um, yeah, sure. Our president would like to have a word with you. Really? Am I in trouble? Please come with me. This guy's gonna give me something. This guy better be thankful I fucking saved his... whatever the hell I saved. What's going on, bro? I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now how we have quite a bit of, to thank for you. So, you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask for of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know I'm in a president. You, I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return here. Give me your Pokenav plus for a moment. 
Oh, he's gonna give me a new app or something. Updated our PokéNav Plus. Now you can use BuzzNav function on your PokéNav Plus. What the hell is that? Called BuzzNav. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it, and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime, any place. Now get. Now let me get to the important issue of what it is I need you to do. This guy looks old as hell. I like the Omanite little thing in the background. That's cool. I want you to ask. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Stephen. You should find him in Duford. All right, so we got a letter, and in order to get to Duford, we're gonna have to go to uh, Mr. Briny with that Pico. Okay, I'll ask Mr. Briny, the old sailor who lives on that hut on Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him. He should agree to help you. All right, so we got our next mission, guys. We got a letter. We gotta go find Steven, and we gotta go on a boat. So in order to do that, oh shit, I'm all, I'm all the way on the top floor and shit. I'm gonna go ahead and sit on a chair to scoot through. What the hell is this? This is this is weird. This is like a weird little wall right here. No, I don't. I don't. This is a this is a weird place. Wait, am I on the fucking top floor? Where, where the hell? Where the fuck am I going? Oh, there's the stairs. I was like, Jesus, I'm looking for some damn stairs around here. Can't find them. And holy hell, that's a pretty nice little. Pretty nice little floor you guys got in here. Really nice, real nice establishment. Real nice. Oh, would you look who it is? It's May. Of course, this bitch is always around. Oh, hey, Hayden, have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on that front, as at least. I got so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. I actually have only caught two. I've only actually caught one, but. As I passed Mr. Brining when I was in Petalburg Woods, eh, I, I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. Hayden. You just moved here, so there's no way you could know, but Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. Okay, cool. That's that's good to know. That's the guy that I'm looking to go to right now, because he's going to uh, hook me up with his boat. He's going to bring me to uh, some new places. So we're back on Route 104. We're just going to go ahead and run down this way. I believe we do have to go all the way back down through the forest, which is kind of a bummer. But at least I don't think it should be too... Should be too tedious. We can hop down that ledge. Yeah, you can pretty much just hop down ledges and shit. So that's cool. I just heard a wild Pokemon and I was gonna check out what it was, but fuck it. Alright, so we're back to Route 104, and I believe Mr. Briny is right over here. This is his place. What's going on, bro? Oh, he is still ch he is chasing his, his Pico. Get back here. Hey! <laughs> Do I really have to just, like, wait? the hell out of the way, Pico. I'm trying to talk to your owner. Jesus. Oh, oh my god. There we go. Hold on, lass. Belay that, Pico. Oh, if it ain't Hayden, you're the one who saved my Pico. Yes, I am. Hey, but we owe you for that day. What's that? You want to sail with me? What's this all about, then? A letter bound for Duford? Certainly. That'd be no problem at all. You come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford at once? Yes, we shall. Head to Duford. We're a-coming. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Let's do it, Pico. Pico's coming with. Hell yeah. So we are on the boat. Oh man, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> Look at this animation. Pico's just fucking soaring with us. This is badass. <laughs> awesome. So have we, arri have we arrived? Okay, yeah, yeah, are we there? White screen. And we have arrived. We've struck land in Duford, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter. To what's his name or whomever. If you're ever feeling lost in a drift though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon gym. The leader Brawley sure knows everyone and everything that goes on in this town. Well, alright. So, we have arrived in Duford, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. So, next time we're gonna explore, we're gonna go find that dude we're supposed to give the letter to, hint, Stephen, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.